welcome to Sore Point Massage and Manual Therapy. My name is Jack Ryan and the purpose of this video is to discuss myofascial release. Myofascial release is a type of manual therapy that's designed to treat the soft tissue that is called the fascia, the connective tissue. Typically when you hear the word massage you think about working on the relaxation phase of massage which is called Swedish massage. Manual therapies have different modalities and one of those modalities is specifically to address the connective tissue, the fascia of the body. And if you think about fascia, uh, fascia is like the saran wrap of the body that holds everything together. Um, deep to the skin, you have the first layer of skin, and then you have a layer of fascia that holds the skin to the muscles. After that, you have a layer of muscles that are surrounded by fascia that hold all the muscles together. And then each group of muscles have a layer of fascia. Each individual fiber of the muscle has a fascia layer and then each individual group of muscles are attached to the bone by fascia and then there's actually a layer of fascia around that bone as well. So when we treat and assess a patient we want to look for any fascial restrictions. So through our evaluation from a postural standpoint from a range of motion we look at the nature of the barrier and if we discover that the range of motion has a tight restricted range of motion then typically we want to look for the fascial component of um, where that dysfunction comes from. Typically when we treat using a fascial technique, it's a very gentle technique. Uh, fascia is made up of elastin, collagen, and a ground substance. So what we do is we evaluate how well the fascia, the connective tissue moves, and where we, we find it stuck, we're going to treat by putting a very gentle passive stretch on the area, holding until that ground substance softens, the elastin relaxes, and starts to stretch. Typically this is a very gentle passive technique that's very effective because fascia surrounds everything in the body and just as if we'd had a trauma that causes scar tissue in the fascia or muscles it can cause dysfunction in a dis distant area. So say your patient had some low back surgery and had a scar across her low back, and that scar tissue tightens up. What it does is it creates pull all the way through. So the scar may be here, but you can see how it's going to pull all the way down the leg. And if you had a shirt on, you'd see how it would pull up into the shoulder. So what we want to do is we want to release that fascia and get those fibers to be more mobile so that it's not pulling at distant areas. Typically after surgery, you always want to check scar tissue with a myofascial technique to make sure that there's good range of motion in all the directions so that you have optimal blood flow to the area, lymph flow, joint mobility, and muscular function because if the fascia is restricted it's going to affect the muscular layer, the neurological layer, the lymphatic layer, and the circulatory layers. So fascia is very important to treat when you're evaluating patients for pain and dysfunction. If you want to learn more about myofascial release, please sign up for our free newsletter and also read our blog. Thank you.